Show me your best rest position, guys. Here we go. Mr. Johnson said the mic was going to be on already. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. We'd like to welcome you to the third annual Fort Nelson Music Department Telethon. It's great to be back after a three-year hiatus. My name is Lawrence Galan, and I will be your MC for the evening. For those of you in the audience, you are in basically the wonderful Phoenix Theater, and you're in for quite the treat tonight from all these amazing students. And for those of you who are watching via the internet, you are in for amazing, you're in for an amazing show as well. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Please make sure that you put your phone on silent, as I've confirmed once again that no pieces of music tonight require any extra ringtones or dings. There will be a recording made available online after the concert, but you are welcome to record the performance with your own device. Just remember to be considerate with those behind you because no one wants to be blinded by a bright light screen. Finally, when leaving the auditorium, we ask that you wait until there's a break in the music before heading out the doors. So we thank you very much for your cooperation. And, of course, the reason we are here today is to support the Fort Nelson band students and raise as much money as we can so the bands can go on their upcoming trips to Fort St. John, Grand Prairie, and Whistler. <laughs> Mr. Johnstone did confirm that all the funds raised tonight will go directly to the band students and not his upcoming bachelor party. <laughs> that fundraiser is going to be later this month. So throughout the concert tonight, we are asking for your support by pledging the bands. There are three ways you can do this. If you're in the audience, you can go to the lobby where, where you'll see Jennifer, who is Mr. Johnson's lovely fiance, and she will be very happy to take your money. 
If you're watching online, you can also phone uh, 774-2241. So that's 250-774-2241. Or visit the website and just click the link. You will see these numbers appear on the screen throughout the concert. It's that simple. You can pledge an individual student or the entire band, and there is no minimum amount. Credit cards and interact payments are also accepted. We will take your money pretty much any way we can get it. Our first group of the evening is the R.L. Angus Beginning Band. They have been performing for just over five months and have come a long way since their first class in October. This band is made up of students in Mr. Gilbert and Mrs. Trainer's class. They have been meeting together every Friday the past few weeks to prepare for tonight's concert. They are very excited to be here, and I'm sure we all are as well. The first piece of the evening is extra sweet. It's called Donut Factory. We'll take a delicious trip through a donut factory where donuts travel along a conveyor belt and get shaped, glazed, iced, and sprinkled. The lighthearted piece for beginning band features a fun and healthy dose of trombone. Various percussion instruments are used throughout to add the sounds of donut making progress. So here is Donut Factory. I could tell Pete Daw was thinking about a Boston cream donut the whole time. The final piece from the RL Beginner Band is Rock Attack by Carol Chambers. The fo it's full of energy, drive, and fun. This upbeat piece has an infectious melody that will have your toes tapping. So please enjoy Rock Attack.
Let's hear it again for these amazing students. While the stage is being set for the next band, we will draw a few names for door prizes we have. A huge thank you to all our sponsors and those who've donated prizes. Now, if your name is called and you're in the theater, please wait till the end of the performance to pick up your prize, or Mr. Johnson said he will find you later this week to give you your door prize. First up we have is two adult movie passes from the Phoenix Theater. Marlene Johnson, ticket 105. Next up is the $10 IGA gift card. Sean Erskine, ticket 217. We've got some Northern Rockies uh, water bottle apparel. Kyle Andrews, ticket 146. Next up is a $10 Subway gift card. Janice Adams. I thought you were in Vegas. Hello. <laughs> Next is a $10 Tim Hortons gift card, and the winner is Jody Riggs. Congratulations to all the winners, and once again, your prizes can be picked up at the end of the performance tonight, or also throughout the week. Um, I wonder if we can check and see how much money we've raised so far on the big board. Do we have a number up there yet? 351. Thank you to everyone who's pledged so far. And a reminder, the phone lines are open, 250-774-2241. And if the line is busy, keep trying it, because you will get someone eventually. Also, if you're watching online, you can just click the other link to make sure you can get your pledge in as well. Over the last few weeks, Mr. Johnstone interviewed a few RL band students and he asked them a few questions. Here is what they had to say. I'm in grade six and I play the clarinet. I'm, my name is Liam and I play the flute. I'm in grade five. My name is Michelle and I'm in grade seven and I play the trombone. My name is Carter. I am in grade six and I play the trumpet. Hi, my name is Emberly and I'm in grade five and I play the flute. Yeah. My name is Ella. I'm in grade six and I play the tenor saxophone. Um, I'm Megan and I'm in grade seven and I play the flute. Hi, my name is Alina, and I'm in grade five, and I play the clarinet. Hi, I'm Asher. I play the baritone, and I'm in grade five. Um, uh, hello, my name is Gwen, uh, Gwendolyn, and I play. I'm in grade five, and I play clarinet. Uh, my name's Emma. Um, I'm in grade six, and the instrument I play is the clarinet. My name is Samuel. I'm in grade seven, and I play the trombone. Hi, I'm Bahamut. I play, I'm in grade five and I play the trumpet. Hi, my name is Addy and I'm in grade five and I play the clarinet. My name is Alexis. Um, I'm in grade six and I play the clarinet. Hi, I'm Marley. I'm in grade five and I play the trumpet. Hi, my name is Avera. I'm in fifth grade and I play bass clarinet and normal clarinet. Hi, I'm Scarlett. I'm in grade seven and I play the baritone. My favorite thing about playing the flute is it's quiet. 
My favorite thing about playing the flute is that it's fun. My favorite thing about playing the clarinet is that it's really bold. My favorite part about this, my clarinet is I can remember all the notes and it's easy to play. My favorite thing is the trombone. It's easier and, and I can remember the notes. Um, I really like how um, it's easy to like go down on all the notes. My favorite thing about playing my clarinet is that I could easily squeak into my sister's ears with her screams. My favorite part about playing the trumpet is making the sounds and finding people as you play. My favorite thing about how playing the trumpet is that it's just three, three things so you don't have to be all over the place. My favorite thing about the tr playing the trombone is probably how easy it is to learn. It only has three buttons so the notes are easy to memorize. My favorite thing about band is the instruments. Um, it's probably being able to be in tour band and hang out with all my friends whenever we go on buses to travel. My favorite thing about band is uh, how long it is. Uh, having an amazing teacher like Mr. Johnstone. Um, <laughs> playing songs and going on tour band. My favorite thing about band is the trips. Um, probably playing with all my friends at the concerts. The different pieces and how they sound. Um, my favorite thing about band is that I get to skip hard work. Well, what's your favorite part about being in band? Um, my favorite part about being in band is that I get to come and see my friends. My favorite thing about band is that my teacher doesn't hiss and bark at me like the kids in my basement. My favorite thing about band is getting to play music with a whole bunch of other people. My favorite thing about band is probably everything that I get to play music. This next group is the Arl Angus Advanced Band and they're almost ready to go. They're just going to do a quick warm up to make sure that none of them put their instruments backwards. The RL Angus Advanced Band consists of students in their second and third year with a few students in their first year of band. This group is made up of students from Mrs. Cowens, Ms. Clark, Ms. Froze, Ms. Doherty's, Mr. Foreman, Ms. Parker, and Mr. Vanderstein's class. The classes rehearse separately but have been meeting together every Friday for combined rehearsals. They've been working hard these last two months and are ready to perform some wonderful music for you this evening. The first piece from the RL Advanced Band is Character by Larry Clark. And funny enough, I think someone actually thought my name was Larry Clark once. This piece is built in two sections. The first, the opening fanfare gesture that is bold and forceful, forceful followed by the main material that is lyrical and flowing in nature. The flute, oboe, and percussion instruments during the section provides the energy that drives the piece and provides contrast to the sweeping melody in horn, saxes, and clarinet. Please enjoy character.
This next piece could easily be my wife's favorite. It's called Snooze Alarm. Snooze Alarm is a comedy piece for bands that is not only fun to perform, but also helps teach basic musical concept. Listen for the tick-tock of the clock and the never-ending alarm. Here is Snooze Alarm. Big thank you to Miss Clark for all her help. Thank you, Miss Clark. The next piece is called Midnight Sky. It is a beautiful moment of solitude in which listeners close their eyes and imagine a quiet moment under the stars, uninterrupted by hustle and bustle of everyday life. We often forget to embrace those moments of peace and tranquility. This music work seeks to bring the calmness back into our lives. Please enjoy Midnight Sky.
The final piece we'll hear from the RL Advanced Band this evening is called Of Castles and Kings. This is a bold regal opener for the beginning band. A heroic opening fanfare introduces a memorable flowing theme reminiscent of medieval times. Here is Of Castle and Kings. Let's have another huge round of applause for the RL Advance Band. While the band is moving off stage, maybe it's time for another total on the board. Oh, $757 so far. Thanks for all the support out there in Fort Nelson, and now it's time for a few more door prizes. First up, we've got a glass water bottle donated by Down to Earth. Darlene Osmond, ticket 176. Next up is a $25 home hardware gift card. That winner is Corey. Uh, we've got your telephone number, Corey, ticket 125. Corey with a K.
Next up, the Fort Nelson Alaska Highway Travel Mug donated by the museum. Someone named Ian is the winner of that. That's ticket number 166. Next up, a $25 Boston Pizza gift card. Cecilia Follow. 446 is the ticket number. And the last of this bunch, a $10 Tim Hortons gift card. Debbie and Terry Streeper. We'll say Debbie won that. Now, when the students were going around collecting pledges, they were asked if there's anyone they would like to challenge to meet or beat their pledge. Here are a few of those challenges. Jody Riggs challenges all grandmas to meet or beat her pledge of $30. Mark Lucas challenges all dads to meet his pledge of $20. And Tony McDonald challenges everyone to meet or beat her pledge of $100. Now, for those of you who know Mr. J, he loves bad jokes and puns. So here is a video of some of his favorites. What do you call two worms in love? Soil mates. Most people are shocked when they found out how bad I am at electrician. Um, this gravity joke is getting a bit old, but I fall for it every time. How do you fix a broken tuba with a tuba glue? What weighs less than blue? Light blue. Did you hear about the man who was accidentally buried alive? It was a grave mistake. Two windmills are standing in a wind farm. One asks, what's your favorite kind of music? The other one says, I'm a big fan of, I'm a big metal fan. I was addicted to hokey pokey, but thankfully I turned myself around. Did you hear about the guy who lost the left side of his body? He's all right now. What do you call a musician with, uh, have tr uh, with, tr with problems? A troubled man. Who get from a from a pampered cow, spoiled milk. I took the shell off my racing snail, thinking it would make him go faster, but instead he's now more sluggish. My friend keeps saying it could be worse. You could be stuck in a hole full of water. I know, but I know he means well. Yeah. Why would the two golfers wear two pairs of pants? Why? In case they got a hole in one. Oop. What do I know about bonsai trees? Very little. Mountains aren't just funny, they're hilarious. Hell areas. Those were some bad jokes. The junior jazz band is going to do a quick sound check, and they should be just about ready to go. The Junior Jazz Band is a small but mighty ensemble that meets Tuesdays at lunch. The band is open to anyone at Arla Angus who wants some challenging and fun music to play beyond what they're already learning in band class. The Junior Jazz Band selection for us tonight is Jumping Jelly Bean by Dean Sorensen. Jumping Jelly Beans is a spirited rock tune that is a lot of fun to play. So please enjoy Jumping Jelly Bean.
Awesome job, Junior Jazz Band. Now before we switch over to the FNS Class Band, it's time for a few solos from our RLA Angus students. Now while we're waiting for them to get organized, don't forget you can still pledge more money. <laughs> Go online or give Jennifer outside more money. And as soon as Mr. Johnstone is ready, I'll hand the mic over to him and he can introduce some of the, uh, some of the solos. While we're waiting for our solos to get ready, first of all, can we give Lenny a big round of applause for being our MC tonight? I always uh, ask him, and uh, well, I don't ask him, I tell him. So it works out very well. So thank you, Lenny. He's a great MC. Um, we just have three uh, brave soloists here. They're awesome. Um, we're going to start with Gwen, who's going to play Sweetly Sings the Donkey. I think she's got her reed working here. All right, I'll let pass it over to Gwen. Alina's playing my theme song, This Old Man. They both want to go last, but they can't do it, so Alina's up first. Karma. I've heard Alina play it before. She sounds really great. She just has a, a broken reed, and we didn't have any extra two and a half for her. So Addie is going to finish this off with uh, Farrah Jacques, I believe, right? Yeah. Okay. I almost forgot Emma, she was changing. Okay.
so her hand. Good job. Good job. All right, now I'm going to pass it back over to Lenny. We're going to have some more solos later on in the evening. Now, I think it's time we'll check and see how our money total is looking. We can get the money total on the board. If anyone's working, the, oh, William, <laughs> no one's at the computer. Red alert. $1,272. We're getting close to $1,300. We've got a few more door prizes to give away. Next up is a $10 IGA gift card. Corey with a K again. How many tickets did he buy? Ticket one, two, four. From Final Touch, we have a travel mug and water bottle. And Tyler is the winner of that. Ticket 102. We do have your telephone number, so we'll phone you for the prize. Next up uh, for the Fort Nelson Historical Society, it is a vest, Lady Small. Len Peterson. He can give that away to somebody. Next up is a $25 home hardware gift card. Mark Lucas. 179. And the last in this bunch of door prizes, a $10 Tim Hortons gift card goes to Gloria Irwin, 178. I've got a few more challenges to announce. Patricia Skinner challenges everyone to meet or beat her pledge of $20. Shallon Johnson challenges Mike Ealing to meet or beat her pledge of $60. And Gail Henry challenges all grandparents to meet or beat her pledge of $300. Up next is the FNSS class band, and they're going to be doing a quick warm-up, and then they'll be ready to play for us.
The Fort Nelson Secondary School Class Band is made up of students grade 8 to through grade 12. They practice during regular class time and they've been working very hard over the past few months and Mr. J is very proud of the progress that he continues to see. The first piece from the class band is Irish Jig for Young Feet by Travis Weller. The jig is a folk dance made popular in Ireland. The jig is immensely popular with traditions of the Irish dance music. So please feel free to tap along to the Irish Jig for Young Feet. The next piece is called, called Fragile. This piece was written to acknowledge the ongoing struggles that many of us face with mental health. The piece starts very softly. The individual is aware something is wrong, but is trying to bravely persist. The clarinets introduce the main theme of the work, a bittersweet melody that is lovely. The second segment is a manic and violent. The individual struggles with their condition as everything seems to be darkness. The piece builds into a thunderous moment before dying away into a single dissonant sound signaled by two clarinets. The individual is broken. The original theme sounds out again. Slowly the individual resumes their life, still hopeful, but knowing the cycle will repeat. The piece ends and their future uncertain. Please enjoy Fragile.
The next piece from the Fort Nelson High School class band is The Witch and the Saint, arranged by Matt Conway. The Witch and the Saint is constructed in several distinct sections. The opening depicts the birth of twin sisters born in Germany in 1588. In those times, the birth of twins was considered a bad omen, and as the sisters grew, grew up, it became clear that they had the gift of second sight and could predict future events. Here is The Witch and the Saint.
The final piece the high school class band is going to perform for us tonight is Never Ending Bond by Richard Ashe. Never Ending Bond tells the story of two siblings who have been inseparable their whole lives, but when one of them graduates and moves off to college, the other sibling is left behind. Unsure how to get through this time of not seeing their siblings every day, this piece shows us how strong a bond can really be. Here is Never Ending Bond. What a great performance. And before we switch over to the tour band, we have two amazing soloists from the high school tonight. First up is Aiden Thomas. We're going to do a quick swap because Aiden has to switch instruments. We have Hestia first. Hestia's going to play uh, Swan Lake.
It was really well done. Next year, maybe we can get Willie Nelson here and he can do a duet with Aiden. Our tour band is just settling in. And I wonder if we got somebody on the computer, we can do another check on how much money we're making. $1,821, really close to that $2,000 mark. We've got a few more door prizes to give away. Next up is a $25 Boston Pizza gift card. Glenn Goff, you're going to Boston Pizza. Next up is a $10 Subway gift card. Kelsey Hull, ticket 219, $10 subway gift card. It's not too late to, too late to keep donating and getting in for door prizes. Next up is two adult movie passes to the Phoenix Theater. And I think we've got Santana has won that. We've got your telephone number, 206. And we have another Northern Rockies Regional Municipality water bottle. And we've got a Gerwing. One of the Gerwings won that. You get 2 one, one. We have a few more challenges to announce. Hazel Dodd challenges everyone to meet her or beat her pledge of $25. Jean Linden challenges everyone to meet or beat her pledge of $50. And Jennifer Riggs challenges all parents to meet or beat her pledge of $25. And apparently we had an unknown caller phone in and dare me to beat $120. So whoever that nice caller was, thank you for that. So I will match that $120 pledge. As the tour band is now on stage, let's take a look at a few photos from their trip to Toad River this past November. And this water bottle is where you show me 
A place I've never been before I was knowing where the ocean flow Knocking on the cellar door And this world above Is where you show me love A place I've never been before Looks like the tour band is just about ready to go, but we're going to give them a quick warm up and then we'll carry on with the evening. No warm up. The tour band, they consist of students from grade 6 to grade 12 who want to have the opportunity to play and travel. They meet twice a week before school and plan on traveling to Whistler in the middle of April and to Grand Prairie at the beginning of May. The first piece for the tour band is Chasing Sunlight. Chasing Sunlight was inspired by the experience of driving west into the settling sun and is trying to keep up with the Earth's rotation to catch a last few rays, sun before dusk. Just as the sun will always set, humans must accept all things in life and make the most of every opportunity before it is passed. Chasing Sunlight also represents the ongoing pursuit of these opportunities. Sit back and enjoy Chasing Sunlight. Thank you. 
The next piece we will hear is Loch Lomond. This is a tradi traditional Scottish song, often considered as one of the most famous and beloved Scottish folk songs. It tells the story of a soldier who has been sentenced to death and is longing to be reunited with his loved one by the bonnie banks of Loch Lomond. This song has been recorded and preformed by numerous artists over the years and has become a staple of Scottish culture. Enjoy Loch Lomond. The next piece is called Fate of the Gods, arranged by Matt Conaway. Fate of the Gods was inspired by the tales of the Nordic mythology. This piece tells the story of Ragnarok, also known as the Twilight of the Gods. An incredible war between forces of good and evil is fought, bringing about the end of the cosmos. After the destruction of the new world, a new one will arise with joy and abundance. Here is Fate of the Gods.
Dave, hopefully I'm going to say the next one right. Espana Canna. Close enough? Okay. Okay. <laughs> the final piece from Tour Band is Espana Canna. Literally, Gypsy Spain is a type of Espanish march that is performed at bullfights, usually when the bullfighters enter the stadium. Please enjoy Espana Canna. Can we get one more round of applause for our tour band? We've got a few more door prizes to give away. I know Pete Dawes still anxious. He hasn't got a prize yet, so... Pete will shake the bag real good. Our next winner is of a $10 IGA gift card. Jim Bartlett. Next up is a uh, down to earth $10 prepaid you fill water coupon. Sawyer Andrews, he won that. Ticket 448. We have another Northern Rockies Regional Municipality water bottle in the box. Katatrina has won that. Katarina. 155. And now we've got a $10 Subway gift card. Dave Andrews has won that one. One five zero. I wonder if you've got somebody at the computer that can tell us what our new dollar figure is for tonight. Two thousand four hundred fifty-three dollars. Very close to twenty-five hundred.
Our next group is the Senior Jazz Band. They may need a quick warm up, I think. Briefly warm. Thanks to John Roper, we got a few more door prizes. Next up, a $25 Boston Pizza gift card. The pen didn't work. It looks like a Jillian one, but we can make up the telephone number. That's the main thing. If you're ticket 101, you've just got a Boston Pizza gift card. Our next Boston pizza winner, geez, Corey with a K won a lot of, a lot of things tonight. Ticket one, two, one. And then we've got a $25 home hardware gift card. Leslie Middleton, home hardware gift card, 216. This final performing ensemble of the evening is the Fort Nelson High School Senior Jazz Band. This group is consisting of students in grades 7 all the way to 12, and they meet twice a week before school starts. They will be traveling to Grand Prairie at the beginning of May, along with the tour band to perform at the Grand Prairie and District Music Festival. The first piece we will hear is Fiesta del Tigre. How'd I do? <laughs> Fiesta del Tigre is an exciting and rhythmic Latin jazz piece. The piece captures the spirit and energy of the festive celebration with upbeat melodies and vibrant instrumentation. And listen for a solo by Stephen Faraday. Please enjoy Fiesta del Tigre.
I like the name of the next one. The next piece is called Count Baba's Revenge. It's a dynamic and energetic piece that is the sequel to an earlier composition called Count Baba. So here is Count Baba's Revenge. The next piece is called A Child is Born. Originally written as a Christmas song, the piece has since become a jazz standard. Throughout the piece, you'll hear short solos by Stephen Faraday, Hiesta Fuentes, and Nicole Zeng. Here is A Child is Born.
Before the senior jazz band plays their final piece of the evening, we want to once again thank all those who made this event possible. Shannon Clark, Justin Foreman, Kathy Cowan, all the Arley uh, staff, William DeRoche Fenton, Caden O'Shaughnessy, Dwayne Legg, Cohen Rondu, Jennifer Furin, John Roper and all the theater staff, all the school district 81 maintenance staff, and those businesses who donated prizes, including the Phoenix Theater, Final Touch, Down to Earth Health Shop, Northern Rockies Rec Center, Home Hardware, Tim Hortons, IGA, Subway, and Boston Pizza. We're going to take a look at the board again, but I'm not sure if the latest number is actually on the screen. Cindy from Jazz, did she give you a number? She did. Is it? It will not. It's, it's for you to reveal. $4,761.50. Really good job. The final piece of the evening is called Early Morning Before School Blues by Andy Clark. Is a lively and upbeat jazz piece which captures the energy and excitement of a jazz band rehearsal set against the backdrop of the early morning hours before school. Listen for solos from Francesca Kuhls and Katarina Zenk.
Thank you again, everyone, for coming in and supporting the Fort Nelson Music Department once again. And before we forget, let's give Mr. David Johnstone a round of applause for all the hard work. Lots of dedication he puts into helping these students to make them sound as best as possible. So that concludes our third annual Music Department Telethon. Have a fun and safe spring break, and hopefully we'll see you all back here in June.